Let's uh, look at the drying rate curve that we would obtain if we dry a moist sample, uh, for example, uh, some food, uh, when it is placed in a stream of air. We can develop a plot as we shown here. Uh, we will have the y-axis as moisture content uh, expressed in dry basis uh, versus time. So the curve that we will obtain will look something like this and we will label it as A then to B and to C, D and E. Now as you notice that the slope of this curve changes as you go from A to E. So if you look at the slope of the curve at these different locations we can create this type of a plot with y-axis as drying rate which is the change in moisture content divided by time and on the x-axis we will have moisture content dry basis. Note that the moisture content increases as we go from left to right. So initially our sample has a high moisture content so we will start somewhere on the right hand side where we have point A to B and then we have a horizontal line B to C and then from C to D and then D to E. Now A to B is what we will call the initial adjustment period. This is the period when the sample may be cold at the beginning and let's say it's exposed to uh, air which is at a higher temperature so the sample is say warming and if it is warming then the rate of moisture removal uh, would increase from A to B. This uh, adjustment period is uh, usually quite small and often ignored but then from B to C we drew a horizontal line that means the drying rate remains constant as you can see uh, from the drying rate at both points B and C are the same. This period is called the constant rate drying period. From C to D the drying rate decreases and uh, quite often for different food materials uh, you just see one period like this and we call it the falling rate period. However, in certain foods, after they go through some drying, there may be internal changes which may result in a different uh, slope and so we have D to E as the second falling rate period. So let's look at the constant rate period. In this case, when a moist sample is placed in a stream of air, there is always a water film present on the surface of that object. This is because there is a sufficient amount of water inside the food that can easily transfer to the surface and the surface is always covered with a layer of water. So this period when the water is evaporating from the surface and that water is freely available throughout the surface of that object is the constant rate period. On the other hand, in falling rate period uh, there is still water on the surface but only some parts of the surface have got a water film. Uh, there is just not sufficient water inside the food to transfer to the entire surface to keep a water film around the entire surface as we saw in case of constant rate period. So as shown here there are only some parts of the surface where we have water present and um, the rate is uh, decreasing uh, as that remaining water uh, continues to evaporate from the surface. So thus we have uh, both constant rate period and falling rate period that can be expressed on the drying rate curve.